Hello, welcome to The Lock Project. Michael Kiaki here with you. Hey, we're taking a bit of a trip back in time today. We're gonna to be having a look at something that I've been loving over the last couple of months. Bethel released their album called We Will Not Be Shaken. It's fantastic, it's amazing, and I'm excited to share it with you today. When you think about releasing a worship album, at least for me anyway, I always try to envisage um, if I had any tone or talent or sound or voice in me, uh, I always wanted to release something, you know, in the wilderness. Like I heard of bands doing things in the forest, you know, doing concerts in the forest and people come from all around the world to watch them and they're smack bang in the middle of a forest. I mean, how awesome is that, right? Bethel, when they released this album, they shot this whole live evening of worship on the side of a mountain overlooking a, a, a lake in, in California. And it's actually quite spectacular. It's shot during dusk as, this, as the sun is setting and it's just so beautiful. Uh, then as the night falls, you know, you've, 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 you've seen the big lake, the big mountains in the background disappear. And it's just like the starry night with those beautiful spotlights on. It's just incredible. And this is how they have done, and this is how they have released their album, We Will Not Be Shaken. The thing with Bethel, if you've never really gotten into Bethel before, or kind of heard about them, or not quite sure what to think, this is a perfect start for you. Because um, I feel like it, it creates such a beautiful moment of worship to, to, to the Father. And it's, it's powerful. You ever have those days where you're just like, you're not clicking, you're not quite vibing, there's something just not aligned. Whenever I have those moments, I know throughout this year, this album has helped me massively. Uh, I just flick it on and I just, I mean, I just get lost in it and I reset. And if that's something that you can kind of relate to, then I totally encourage you to check this album out. So throughout this album, there's something like nine lead singers. There's like cellos, violinists, yes, there's multiple, a uh, whole bunch of musos, right? But at any stage throughout the whole recording, throughout the whole album, it never sounds overdone. It's just this peaceful, beautiful sound that's consistent throughout the whole album of just pure worship to God. All right, picks of the album. Now there's a bunch of great tracks in here. It's really hard to choose. My favorites uh, for you to check out. Um, probably track one through to 11. Start there and see how you go. Now track two, Ever Be, is beautiful. It is an absolutely brilliantly composed song. Just lovely in the way it's written. It's full, it's vibing, it's, it's great. Check that one out. As we head into more of the album, No Longer Slaves comes up. And now this track, which is uh, sung by a brand new uh, singer, uh, his name's Jonathan Helzer, amazing, right? Him and his wife, they bash out this song. Now this guy just sings it so rawly and so amazingly, even throughout the end of the album, right at the end, he is, uh, you can kind of hear his voice breaking because he's just pumping it so hard. And man, that's awesome. That's, I love that. I love that rawness and that authenticity in, in worship. So check that out. But uh, probably the last song is one of my absolute faves. And uh, that's over my head. It's, it's gorgeous, it's lovely, and Jen Johnson does a fantastic job in uh, bringing that to us as well. So check those ones out. That's been the review for this week. Check out BethelMusic.com for more information. Uh, there's a story behind the album. There's a whole bunch of photos there of the shoot. And uh, have fun with it, enjoy it. I really hope it helps you in your walk. Uh, if you want me to review anything, list it down below, hit that like button, comment, let me know your thoughts. Uh, all the links are down there as well. I'll catch you next time on The Life Project. This has been Michael Kiaki.